Hey guys, and welcome to another Let's Play. This is a game that I have been requested and suggested to play for some time now. Um, one that I've been fairly lukewarm on uh, the idea of doing. It is made by Frictional Games, I believe. The same guys that uh, brought us Amnesia. Now, I only played one of the Amnesia games, and... Eh... It was okay. It was it it was all right. I didn't mind it, but um, I didn't really get it either. I mean, I got it. It's a fucking video game, but it wasn't scary. Um, I I found it quite dull, and the story didn't um, really interest me too much. I mean, it it was good, but I wasn't super enthralled. However, this one. Um, <sighs> This one, they've completely changed the setting, and it's a much more, well, it is a, a sci-fi setting. Um, and it's something that's really piqued my interest. Now, I know there's no fighting back against the enemies, and you have to run from the enemies, and yada, yada, yada. Which I hate. I hate that game mechanic. But, we're going to see how we go. Um... Very much looking forward to playing this game. This is Blind. I know very little about this game. Um, I intentionally did not watch a lot of it. Because I knew that this one would be one that I got to in the end. So, you know, we have the lights on full blast. We have the game volume down quite quietly. Because we don't want to get squared now. Uh, do we fuck? We've got everything off. We've got the sound right up. This is going to be intense. This is going to be intense. Uh, adjust the gamma so you can barely make out the details on the robot poster. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. I don't really care about um, how dark a game is. I don't find darkness scary in games. I find it irritating. So we'll see how we go. We're going to go new game. And see where this... Uh, this leads us. I like the brain. I like the pulsating, scanned brain in the in the corner there. Reality is which, when you stop believing in it, it doesn't go away. Yeah, yeah, I get that. I think you're bleeding. Oh, that, that's nothing. It's just my brain can't stop bleeding from the accident. Um. Okay. Here, take this. No, that, that's for later, for the scan. It's green. Ashley, I need to tell you something. Simon, please don't make this weird. No, no, it's not like that. Why now? Who's David Lynch? Why is there never enough time? For what? Ah, ah. Okay. Uh, so did that actually just happen then? Yeah, I'm up. Hi, Simon Jarrett? Yeah, that's me. My name is David Munchie. We spoke earlier. The brain scan. I remember. Are you alright? Yeah, yeah, just a bad dream. Are, are we still on for today? Yeah, that's why I'm calling. I wanted to remind you to drink the tracer fluid I sent you. It'll help me capture a better image of the damages. Don't worry, I I, I got it somewhere. Okay, great. Well, I'll see you in a couple of hours then. Okay, see you soon. Well, well, well. Rise and shine. So, we were just in a car, I'm assuming. Um, not sure if that actually happened. We have to go drink some uh, tracer fluid, which uh, I'm assuming is for the x-ray or whatever. Uh, very nice. Uh, I'm guessing in your fridge. Oh, it uses that same similar setup. Yep. You got a whole lot of shit in there. Oh, it looks like you got a brain in there. Is that a brain? It's probably not a brain. Ah, lights. Lovely. Let there be light. What is that? Looks like a bottle of milk or something. Ah, crazy Americans, who knows? Whoa, dude, you gotta clean this shit up, mate. Shit. Ooh, what have we got? Hey, Simon, it's Jesse. You working this weekend or what? I knew there was something you were doing. Was it this weekend or next? Anywho, just shoot me a mail or something. Love you, miss you, mean it. End of messages. I swear, that guy is the 
memory of a goldfish. Mm-hmm. Sounds it. To remind him, didn't I? Did you? Do we need to examine your computer? Have you not got any more lights in this place? Fucking hell. There we go. Right, what have we got here? Ooh. Massive recoil. Now that sounds like something. John Hugh is a corrupt cop working in Hong Kong. One day his life is turned upside down as he meets Amber, a mysterious foreigner who is kept prisoner by the Golden Dragon Triad. Get ready to go rogue. It's time to go against the Triad, the police and the supernatural forces of the underground. Get ready for massive recoil. Now that sounds like something I want to watch. Fuck me, mate. Seriously, have some dignity. Look at this place. Alright, what have we got here? Uh, Neurograph Session. David Munchie. Uh -huh. Thank you again for participating in our research. The scan will be performed at the uh, Pace Laboratories in Toronto, but since we are guests, our access is a bit unpredictable. I will try to schedule a scan session for Saturday. I'll get back to you when confirmed. Sincerely, David. Um, Dr. Enrin Peak, new prescription. Dear Mr. Jarrett, I'm happy to hear your headaches have become less frequent. Your latest test shows your brain is slowly recovering, but it's still too early to tell how well it adjusts to the damage. The bleeding will continue over the coming months and... Uh, months, at least, and you will need to come to the hospital a few times to drain the cavity to prevent the blood from building up pressure. Since excessive stress could be fatal, whoa, Jesus, I have written you a prescription for um, parosin to help you with your nightmares. Please read the instructions and medicate accordingly. Try to get a lot of rest and I'll see you next week. Saturday off. Hi, Jesse. Since you... Okay, Jesse the Grimoire, Saturday off. Since you probably forgot, here's my, me reminding you that I've got that doctor's appointment tomorrow. I, I'm not coming into work. This means you need to make sure you, you're actually on time to open up the store, and please unpack the boxes behind the counter. They're starting to become a workplace hazard. Also, books tend to sell much better if they're put on shelves where people ca are able to actually see them. Good luck. You'll need it, Simon. So we're Simon. Uh, yeah, makes sense. Send. What kind of shitty operating system is this? Tree mail. Zero point one. Holy crap! This 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 is pre-code. Bloody hell! Right. Okay. Fair enough. What have we got in here? Yeah. The throne. Alright, well, it doesn't look too bad, I suppose. Ooh. This game is going to be extremely interactive. You can press R and... Oh. Alright, that's good to know. Yeah, can we just... um Grab. Come here. There we go. Beautiful. All right. Well, we don't need to clean our teeth today. Where are we? Hope it's a good one. Not too shabby. Right. Let's get out of here. Ah, we need the medicine. Ooh. Some kind of photographer, I guess. Well, that's as hipster as it gets, I guess. Yeah. Macro work. Ooh, very artsy. Right, well, where the hell's this fluid then? I mean, I would have put it somewhere pretty obvious. What else have we got here? Oh. How do we do that? R oh, and. Nope. Guess we can't zoom in on this kind of stuff. Bit of an artist, too. Alright. Get well soon. Love, Mom. Aww. Oh. Mom. Thanks, Mom. I shall endeavor to get well. What, vacuum cleaner? I wouldn't have thought you'd need a vacuum cleaner for these hardwood floors. 
Right, tracer fluid. Ah, hello. Right, to use an object you've acquired, left click when the item is displayed on screen. Caution. Oof. No, oh, radioactive goo. Oh boy. Feels like milk, but the taste is like sucking on a penny. Hmm. Gotta love them radioactive isotopes. Now, what else have we got here? Cutlery. Yeah. Uh -huh. I guess. I guess that's all, folks. Right, let's get out of here. I need to throw on a shirt or anything. Some shoes. Uh, two Simon Jarrett. Well, we probably... Wow, there's a lot of mail there. I guess we have not been opening our mail. Let's go. Yeah, buddy. Look, you're having a bit of a bad day there. Oh, actually, talking about having a bad day. Can we... Hints... Uh, video distortion effects. I don't really know what that is. Um, a simple interaction icon. Nah. Audio subtitles. There we go. Ah, that's the point. I had a coffee here somewhere. Hey, caramba! Jesse. Jesse. Hey, Simon. I got your email. Just wanted to wish you good luck and let you know I got you covered. Thanks. I should be able to come to the store after this scan. Don't sweat it. I got Matt and Chris help me out. Matty from SNL? Uh, guess you didn't hear. He's coming in full time. Work in the comic section. That's Ashley's job. Yeah. Forget it. Not doing her any favors by leaving an empty spot. Not like she's coming back. Well, good luck. Hope they find a way to reverse the whole, you know, dying thing. Thanks, buddy. Dying thing? You're the worst support ever. <laughs> what should I say? I'll see you later, Jesse. Don't burn the place down while I'm gone. Over and out, buddy. Huh. Yeah. Dying is uh, pretty bad, um, I would assume. Well, I suppose it's the end for the endless torment of life, I suppose. <sighs> it's one thing we all have in common. Too much, too soon? Maybe. Yep. <sighs> that was fast. Hello? Dr. Munchie? Well, this place looks derelict. Where is everyone? I thought this place would be busy. Yeah, you... Really? They haven't even finished painting. We in Canada... Oh, yeah, oh I guess so. Alright. You will have to forgive me. I don't know too much about the US or Canada. Apart from, you know, their places that exist in the world. Well, it's a rather basic looking game, but uh, but it does the job. Scan now from David Mushi. Scan now, Paul. Where are you? Uh, we've got a few hours. I got hold of Simon Jarrett. Let's do this. I saw your laptop in the reception. Are you already here? Call me ASAP. Hi, Paul. Talk to Pace about using the lab this week. I've managed to book the scanner for tomorrow. Uh, morning and again on Friday. It's not a lot, but they said we could use the empty reception area as a kind of office. It would allow us to use their computers to run models and also if a time slot opens up we can get in there and use the scanner rig right away. I thought we could run some tests tomorrow. We could do a scan of each other to learn the equipment. It's supposed to be pretty easy. On Friday, I'm hoping Dr. Erin Peak will send somebody over. She has a patient that was recently in a car crash, so that car crash dealio did actually happen. Okay. Should be interesting. Right. So, we're having some kind of brain scan because we are, our brain is uh, slowly leaking. 
Um, due to some kind of car accident, these chaps want to have a bit of a look at us. Although they're not sounding overly confident or well trained, which is curious. We'll, we're here we, we're locked out. I found some extra time in the lab today. Unfortunately, nobody told us about the code change. So I called security, talked to Professor Wei, and had him vouch for our project, and finally got hold of some honcho over at Pace's legal department that could re-grant us permission to use the lab. I'm not allowed to repeat the code in emails or texts, but I'll leave a note or something in case we forget. Okay. Can we crouch? We can crouch. Anything in the bin? Uh, tweak for right length. Very hard to read this, to be honest. Uh, 2501. I guess that could be a code. I suppose. What have we got in the drawers? Ooh, USB stick. Ah! Can we... Can we... Nope. Yep. Come on. Um... Nope. I guess we're taking this one with us. Can we not jam it in? I am disappointed. Right, come here, you. We haven't tampered with anything. Trial and error. Put your scalpel away. The brain can heal itself. Ah! Uh Oh, this sounds like one of them uh, bullshitty um, self-help things. Okay. The brain has an amazing transformative quality, a plasticity that allows itself to compensate and even heal itself, explains Paul Berg, a graduate student in neuroscience at York University in Toronto. It is this quality that Berg and his colleague, David Mushi, a student of computer science, are hoping to encourage. It's about uh, getting the brain to do the right thing. And we hope to accomplish this with the simple things like exercise, therapy, and light medicine. It's about getting the brain to do the right thing. Now, okay, sure, the brain can heal itself to a point. But uh, what exactly are we talking here? But Mushi and Berg are not looking at miraculous uh, panacea. It's about finding the optimal treatment for each patient. They start out recording something called a uh, Nakajami neurograph. It's like a picture that indicates direction, says uh, Munchi. Instead of a static brain scan, the neurograph can tell us where your brain is going. Where it's going? the hell are you talking about, man? Hopefully it's going to stay inside my skull. One, the damaged brain is scanned to produce a computer model. Uh -huh. Numerous tests conducted on model without risk. Ah, so we're talking about uh, simulation here. There's always risk with simulation. Perfect treatment is then applied on the patient. Yes, well, simulation, um, or should I say theoretical simulation and practical application are two very different things. Um... Oh, hello. That's cool. Try and error. It's uh, not a long forecast. It's about um, it's about milliseconds. But with the right computer model, Berg and Mushi can then administer all kinds of treatments without risking actual harm to the real brain. We could try giving your brain an overdose of painkillers whilst running a marathon. Suggests Berg. It's just a computer model. We're able to. Uh, fail treating you a million times over only to find the right way and when they do find an optimal treatment that's when they apply it to the real patient it's still in the early stages but the project has caught the attention of Pace Lab Laboratories who has promised to assist them with both equipment and workspace we're very fortunate to get all of this support says Berg now we just need to get out of the limelight and actually do the work right so basically this is a couple of students that's been given a brain scanner my bob and uh, they're going to be taking scans of my noggin. Alright, well, my confidence just fell. <sighs> What's that? Two, five, one. Two, five, zero, one. Alright, well, I suppose we're going to let ourselves in. Uh, two, five.
Oh, there we go. Yeah, this is really dodgy. You're going to heal my brain. Hint, shift whilst moving to run. What are we supposed to be running from exactly here? I don't want to run too fast. My brain will explode. Yep. Ooh, can we play with a fire hose? No. I do like the way uh, everything moves and reacts. It's very... Ooh, explosives! Yes, please. Oh, boy. Really? You know, it's times like this I'm thankful our country has the NHS. Pace. I can't read this. Average test results. Transformation rate. Development. Hardware. Acquisition. You know, scanning an entire brain and building a... Oh, God. Yeah. No. Um, takes a hell of a lot of effort and processing power. Yeah, don't worry about it, pal. I'm just going to snoop around your computers. IT specialist here, you see. So, what do we have here? We have a motherboard that uh, looks like it's having a bit of a bad day. Oh, nice. Multi monitor setups. Yeah, tough mug. Oh, God. Someone's been injecting chemicals. Can we read the newspaper? No. The Toronto Daily. Well, well, we've got some servers here, I suppose. Yep, this is the brain. That's the important bit. Uh, there's no getting out of this, is there? Ooh. Let's go see if we can drill this chap. Ooh, there we go. There we are. Let's go take this surge. Uh, can we not? Ah, oh, god damn it. You know what? I'm disappointed. I was hoping we could go threaten this gentleman. Oh, he's going to do horrible things to our brain. Oh, hi. Didn't hear you come in. Simon Jarrett, right? Dr. Munchie? Well, it's uh, just Mr. Munchie, but I'm working on it. <laughs> Actually, you're helping me right now. Is this part of your thesis work? Yeah. It's a study I'm doing with my colleague, Paul Berg. Yeah, I see. We hope to design a gentle way to work with brain reconstruction to help people like you. Oh, did you... Uh, Take the tracer fluid? Yes. Yes, I did. Great. Well, we can start whenever you're ready. All right, level with me, pal. Uh, how safe is this, exactly? And I am going to regret this, aren't I? You don't mind me playing with your things, do you? Please. Oh, have yes. Have a seat. All right. Oh, here goes everything. Oh, well, that's fancy. So, uh... Oh. All right. Okay, we're Let's back. Get this out of the way. You are Simon Jarrett, correct? Right. Canada, David Munchie, born 1988, July 16th. Right. Flat neurograph, version 6. Good. All files in order. Will this hurt? It's just a scan. It'll hurt about as much as getting your picture taken. Indians thought cameras would steal their souls. <laughs> yes, so. they did. Well, let's hope they're wrong. <laughs> Ready? Yes. Say cheese. Because you're going to be stealing more than my soul. I would wager. Um, we had our brain scanned, I guess. Hello? Mr. Munchie? Did something go right. wrong? Yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm going to say something Is has funny? gone wrong. I'm not supposed to put myself in. Um. Okay. So the chair's this different. Guy is stressing me out. It's all right, buddy. Calm down. Calm down. 
Let's just play with the hand we've been dealt. We've got a red light here. Anyone? Whoa. I knew we went underwater in this game. But I didn't know how. Okay. Alright, well, I'm getting the atmosphere. The atmosphere is fucking fantastic. Do we need to suit up? And get some boots? I guess not. Alright, Simon, you're gonna be fine, buddy. Maybe. Uh, service console, insert Omni tool to access. Service console, Omni tool chip installer. Build, shape, and optimize your Omni tool with fully customized tools and assistance. Right? Do I. Do we not have one? Pathos 2. Right, well, uh, I guess we don't have one. Can we? Um, okay, that works. Press to jump. Well, this place is pretty ominous. Okay, fine. But what the f fuck is this about then? And why are the doors actually sealed? Uh, can we now go through that? Yeah. So the doors actually have uh, hard barriers on them. That's that's not concerning at all. Uh, I'm actually getting an alien vibe. Oh, we can lean. We're going to be using that feature. Ah, what's in the Thunderbox? Alright. Hand sanitizer. Now, is it just me? Or does this place look very old and very run down? Looks like nothing's been alive here for a long time. First aid, in case of injury, make sure you're safe. Apply first aid where needed. Call dispatch and report the injury. Wait for the first uh, responder to arrive. Burns. I wish I could read this a bit better. Uh, neutralize hazard. Call the burn. Yeah, it's going to be really hard to read this. I'm hoping we get some kind of uh, flashlight. Um, data buffer available. Whoa! Working better than expected. They're having a really hard time getting the doors open. What is that? As many as you can. Rather than take any chances. Roger. Did you cut off the factory floor? All done. Should keep most of them out. I'm on my way to lock off the comp center. Just make sure to leave a way out of here. Trust me, I'll get you the data safe and sound. We just need to make sure we leave enough power running so we don't have to return. I hear that. See you back at camp. Right, so something was attacking. How did I do that? Now, obviously I know there are enemies in the game, but I don't know exactly what they are or what they're about. So they escaped to Theta, I guess. Whatever that is. Well, this place is fucked. What the hell is that? It's like oil. Okay. Sea life, perhaps? Rice. Oh, cool. It's like dehydrated food. Well, spinach. Come on, there's got to be something nice. Curry mix. Miso. What's the red one? Dried beef. Ah, we can have a fucking curry here, mate. Dehydrated curry. Munch print. <gasps> right, what have we got here? Uh, noodles. We need noodles. Um, there we go. Noodles. We shall also have curry. 
Come on, baby. Come on. Okay, this is kind of fiddly, but it's not too bad. Really? Okay, I'm guessing... There we go. And we shall have some beef. Because I'm a fucking glorified beef eater. There we are. Now, how do we... Oh. I guess we don't have any power. What does that do? Oh well, uh, I guess we're not having dinner anytime soon. Yeah well, never mind. It was a romantic thought whilst it lasted. Nothing in there. Is there anything in this on the floor? No. Can we really not cook this and or do anything? Oh well. I wasn't hungry anyway. So, we have locked door, I'm guessing. Can't go that way, maybe? Nope, that's out of order. Right, what have we got? We've got break room, th thermal plant, observation tower, observation tunnel, security, tech depot. Uh, cool. Robot dock, service station, storage, thermal. Everywhere's pointing towards a thermal plant. What's this? Remove some more of these permasils. What have we got going on in here? What the fuck is this? A95 worker. Some kind of organic corruption, perhaps? Another drill. Okay, that's interesting. What's in the locker? Fuck all by the look of things. Alright. They... Oh, shit. What is that? They are really quite... Whoa. Whoa. They are really unsettling. Actually. Yeah. Yeah. Not a fan of those at all. Alright. Yeah, this looks bullshitty. You, uh, got any life in there? What? You want some structure, Joe? Yeah, you do. So weird. Doesn't make any sense. I'm going to shut you down now, okay? Yeah, you're creepy as hell. So I'm going to shut you down. Um... I'm going to say that was the technician talking to one of these. And it wants structure gel. But, um, okay. Well, looks like one of them's got themselves dislodged. Ah, oh, fuck, it's that. It's that weird Velociraptor looking thing. Uh, pal? So the enemies are going to be like machines. Alright. Okay then. I can handle that. Is that fucking thing actually about? Oh, well, there's nothing we can do. Let's just test the waters. What are all these spores everywhere? Something has happened. Some kind of parasite or something. Alright, I th think we're good. What is this sh Shit. All 
Alright, well, I can't see anything. Well, I think, Simon, now, don't hold me to this, pal, but I think you're going to have a bad day. Now, I might be wrong. This could be an elaborate joke. You may wake up in a second. Uh, but don't count on it, pal. Everywhere's locked up. We need a tool. We can smash it with. It's like these are the generators. They s ooh, I was literally just about to say they look in order. Well, that's pissed on my fireworks. What is that? That distortion. Can we re- Oh boy, so we're gonna go have to say hello to whatever, there, whatever's in here. Alright, well, let's introduce ourselves. Is he gonna come out? All right, there, buddy. You uh, you've been here for a while, have you? Guten Tag. Anyone? All right. Well, it looks it looks quiet in here. Now, what the bloody hell's happened to the power? That's what I want to know. And can enemies and things open doors? Oh, hello. Right, the Omni tool is an advanced interface for act uh, accessing, managing, and controlling computerized systems. Onboard intelligence include onboard intelligence. What year is this? Includes an open set of behaviors and protocols to. Enable the user to automate routine actions through basic logical charts. Over time, the Omni tool will automatically adapt its program to cover subconscious behavior to optimize work and minimize user error. Wait a minute, what's all this shit? I thought this was set during modern times. The Omni tool has a short range signal uh, useful for basic automated actions such as opening doors, near field communication, in other words. Whilst performing complex operations, the Omni tool should be physically connected to a workstation terminal. To upgrade your device, simply slide uh, operators into the main or the auxiliary slot. The main slot has a standard C1121 connector, which allows users to fit most market Cortex chips into the Omnitool. Note, the introduction of additional AI will override the onboard intelligence. The auxiliary slot is a multi-connector fitting for the large range of toolchip models, including, but not limited to, A1, A2, uh, and how... yeah, blah blah blah, cool story. Okay. There's no year or anything on this. Omnitool version 2.5. AI helper Jane. Tab is inventory. Oh, okay. Well, that's our inventory, which is uh, basically nothing. All right. What the hell is all this shit? Science experiment that went wrong, perhaps? That's the most logical. Yeah, and it's like oozing this weird shit. That's the most logical thing, in all fairness. Uh, how long have I been recording for? Yeah, we're good. We're good, yep. Alright. Open the door. Okay, I'm going to switch up my keys to pray. There we go. 
Now, I'm guessing that we need to go back and reprogram our tool. Which is a reasonable assumption. I think. As long as no big ugly bastard comes at us. As for the scare factor, yeah, it's... I would say there's a lot of tension, there's a lot of anxiety here, but... Uh, ah, ooh. As for being scared, I would say actually it's not it's not fear, it's curiosity. I wanna see what this motherfucker looks like. So he is about. Alright, well hopefully sneaking around. We'll keep. Alright, let's shut the door. Can these things actually get through um, doors, windows, that kind of thing? I, I guess we're going to find out. Right, let's stick you in there then. And, uh, ooh, reading. Very fancy. Okay, inventory. Alright, well. <sighs> unknown contamination. Alright, well, that's uh, concerning. Uh, excuse me, no. Yeah, this is very, very old. I'm guessing. Uh, Omni tool? Managed tool chip. Welcome back, Louise Muron. I guess that's whoever. Owned it before us. Your Omni tool is in perfect condition, but not fitted with a tool chip. Note that without a tool chip, your FST kit will be unavailable, including your cross site security access. To continue using your designated privileges, please insert a tool chip and run update. Aha, uh -huh. manage Cortex. Yeah, we need chips. Yeah, you're currently being serviced by the default onboard intelligence helper Jane. Note that installing a Cortex chip will override the helper chain uh, and may severely alter your user experience. R unlock toolbox. Alright, what did that do? Ah, I bet we've got some chip. Ooh. I guess we only need one. Oh, okay. Well, okay then. System status. Run setup. Remote access denied. Servers offline. Main power suspended. Program unreadable. Emergency systems. 13 days remaining. Well, that's wonderful. What's this? So uh, looks like a server string that uh, is not functioning properly. Manage toolchip. Update. This thing sounds like a, a bloody micro BBC or something. Sounds like we're running this thing off a five and a five inch floppy disk. Um, okay, remove. Still says AI helper Jane. Can we not put that back? Can we not? So what else have we got here? Manage Cortex chip. We don't have. All right. Pilot seat. Whoa. In progress, construct network, upsilon offline, pilot status, no pilot sound, sync pilot black box, no, connection status, okay, well, uh, I don't know what that is, Carl Silkeem, support Amy, vehicle trugger, task, replace heat shields, southern flute, 
Uh, Results success. Production restored. Note, Siegman reported uh, uncharacteristic levels of nausea after the mission. Diagnostic shows a spike of uh, electromagnetism surrounded by the pilot helmet, which believed to be the cause of Siegman's symptoms. No indication to what created this anomaly. That's interesting because that's what we have. The pilot system has become increasingly unreliable. Everyone who's been using it the last couple of months has been having headaches and spells of nausea. Last week, Gavin was knocked out for 30 hours, 30 hours when trying to direct a helper cluster. This is not acceptable. We will figure this out, but for the time being, I'm shutting down the usage of pilot systems. This means you'll have to do some more heavy lifting, performing the operations through programming or physical labor. No one is happy about this, so don't bother complaining. Jane Adams, Chief Factor. All right, well, this place seems to uh, be falling into disarray. Anyway, guys, I need to find out how we save... Ah, save and exit. Okay, that makes sense. So, I'm going to leave this video here. Um... I'm enjoying this a fuck ton more than Amnesia, but then that's because the setting of this game is kind of up my alley. Um, something is kind of uh, not going to plan. Uh, we appear to have gone for a quick brain scan. We've woken up in an uh, abandoned underwater facility with uh, weird robots and some kind of infection. Infection. Organic infection, maybe? Not sure. But I'm looking forward to finding out. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and as always, till next time.